Hey there guys, Mike Walker here from MikeWalkersBlog.com and today I want to talk to you about beliefs that may be blocking you from having wealth and success in your life today. You know, so many times I believe that we have had it ingrained in us through our parents and through our teachers, different beliefs around wealth and money and, and things like that. And you know, for some reason I think a lot of times wealthy people, rich people, there's a negative connotation that kind of goes along with that. You know, like rich people are snooty or snotty. You know, they're stuck up and they think they're better than us. And oftentimes that's not even really the case. You know, a lot of there's a negative connotation about being rich. You know, you have to live a certain way. You have to be a certain type of person to be rich. And honestly, that's not true at all. And uh, I think at one time I actually believed that myself. But the more and more that I look at it, the more and more I see what it really means to be wealthy, there's a whole different side of it. But what keeps us from, from being wealthy? What keeps us from having abundance in our life? It's our mindset. It's the, it's the beliefs that we have ingrained in us. You know, so many times we've said to ourselves, well, I don't have the money for that, or I can't afford that, or if I became rich and wealthy, you know, people would think that I'm snooty or snotty. You know, if I became wealthy, I wouldn't know how to handle it. I wouldn't know how to take care of that kind of money. Or I wasn't born into a family that was rich, so there's no way I could possibly ever be like that. You know, those are the type of things that we think around money that keep us from having the things in life that we truly want. And it's all a belief system. It's nothing about us and our personal ability because I believe that everyone is created equal. I believe it doesn't matter what family you come, you're born into, it doesn't matter what type of environment you're born into, we're still all born as human beings. And as a human being, you have a free spirit, you have a free will, and you have an innate ability to be able to create anything you want to. But it all starts in your mind. It all starts with the way that you think and your thought process. And I used to think, when I used to hear people talk about videos and do things like that, that, oh, oh yeah, whatever, okay, I can change the way I think and and boom, all of a sudden I can be successful. But the more I dig into this personal development and the more that I really read books and study audios and things like that, the more I see it and the more I implement it into my life, the more I see it. Me and my wife were just talking about this yesterday that once we changed our mindset around money and the lack of money in your life and you realize that there is no lack. There's an abundance of everything in this world and money is just another one of those things there's an abundance of. And once you realize that and, and start embracing it and start embracing the fact that you can become successful if you put your mind to it, if you change your thought process, that you can. And that's what we've noticed in our life is that more things are being attracted to us for the good rather than the bad because we we always lived our life in a negative mindset we said to ourselves we can't afford that we're too broke we're broke all the time we don't never have no money and we had such a negative and poor mindset around money that we stayed that way for years i'm talking about almost decades guys but it's all in how we think and once we changed our mindset we noticed that we started attracting more money, more wealth, more abundance in our life. You know, we started a business and our business started to grow. But it's all in the way that you think and it all starts in your mind. So change your mindset. Change the way you think about wealth and abundance and being rich because money is not evil. I hear people talk about how the Bible says money is evil, but they don't read the whole verse. See, the Bible says that the root of all evil now, money is the root of all evil. The love of money is the root of all evil. It's not money. The love of money is the root of all evil. Money is just an object. Money is just like a baseball bat. Money is just like a pole in the ground. It's just like a tree. But what you do with that money makes it good or makes it evil. If you were rich and you used that money to build orphanages, or if you were rich and you had that money and you used it to go bless 10 families every single day, would that be evil? No, absolutely not. But can you use the money for evil purposes? Of course you can. But it's what you do with it, and that's what the Bible says. It says the love of money is the root of all evil, not just money. 
So guys, I hope you got some value from this video today. If you did, like it, share it, leave me some comments, and remember, it all starts with the way you think. It all starts in your mindset. If you want some more resources, if you want some more mindset tips, you can check me out on my blog. It's at MikeWalkersBlog.com. Over there, you'll also get some marketing tips for your business. I'll teach you how to start a home-based business and be successful using the tools and the systems that have helped me grow mine. Guys, if you go over there, you can put your name and email in the box to the right. I'm going to send you a free, a free training on prospecting, guaranteed to get you two to five leads if you implement the training. So guys, hope you have a beautiful, wonderful day. This is Mike Walker. Take care. Be blessed. Bye-bye for now. Thank you.